The Three North Shelter Forest Project, also known as the Great Green Wall, is China's initiative to combat the spread of the Gobi Desert and the harmful effects of desertification. Each year, the Gobi Desert spreads deeper into China in a process called desertification. Desertification is the degradation of arid and semi-arid ecosystems. These so-called drylands are a delicate type of ecosystem. Because of the scarcity of water, they can only support a limited amount of vegetation and wildlife. Added strain on drylands from human activity or changes in climate can lead to desertification. In China, desertification caused by unsustainable agricultural practices, deforestation, and poor management of water has led to the expansion of the Gobi Desert. Each year, Beijing faces massive dust storms that coat the entire city in sand. The storms also raise the air pollution to hazardous levels. The Three North Shelter Belt Project has been called the world's most ambitious ecological engineering project. Started in 1978, the project aims to combat desertification in the northern regions of China. The Great Green Wall is, put simply, a massive tree planting project. Through the process of afforestation, the creation and expansion of forests, in this case through artificial planting, China hopes to create a literal wall of vegetation lining the outer edges of the Gobi Desert. These trees are planted in strips called shelter belts. To date, over 66 billion trees have been planted. The project is planned to be completed in 2050, covering 2,800 miles with 100 billion trees. Since 1977, the project area covered by trees has increased from 5% to 12% of their goal. The current phase of the operation began in 2003 and uses two unique techniques. Aerial seeding as a direct approach and incentivizing landowners to plant trees as an indirect approach. The question remains, how successful has the Green Wall been in combating desertification? Numerous studies have been conducted in recent years evaluating the achievements and failures of the project. Evaluations are varied, demonstrating that the program has had both positive and negative outcomes. Some studies have found that the program has had some success in mitigating desertification. The program has significantly increased the vegetation in China and is soaking up more carbon dioxide. Recent studies have also shown that the program has successfully reduced dust storm intensity. While the program has had some successes, there are also concerns regarding its effectiveness. Some studies have shown that the program is in fact further hurting the environment, for example degradation of the soil quality. Many argue that afforestation is an artificial, short-term solution with little likelihood for future sustainability. The program utilizes non-native and fast-growing trees, which have high mortality rates. Since 1949, only 15% of trees planted in afforestation projects in northern China have survived. Some studies have also found reductions in groundwater due to increased irrigation for the billions of trees that have been planted. Many have also criticized the one-size-fits-all design of the program. The same methodology in combating desertification is used across all different regions and environments, regardless of variations in climate and weather. Despite criticism, the Great Green Wall is an ongoing project. It has even inspired others to follow suit. In 2007, the African Union formally initiated plans to create their own Green Wall across the southern edge of the Sahara Desert. The future success of the program lies in an intersectional approach to the issue of desertification. This includes promoting agricultural sustainability and best practices at the local level, adapting the program to specific environmental needs, and taking into account scientific recommendations and research. The project needs to find the proper balance between short-term gains and long-term sustainability, between human livelihoods and environmental sustainability.